The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE European Championship. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. There are not many superstars more ferocious than Ilya Dragunov. Well, that ferocity, Saxton, has led Dragunov to the NXT UK Championship. Let's see if it brings him more success tonight. He could be fighting his final battle. Who will fall on their sword? Scottish warrior is ready for battle. Brandishing the King's Blade. This is a man who fought his way all the way to the top of WWE. This man is a real force, Drew McIntyre. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one, handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that. He became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. He went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take whatever he wants. Remember, guys, this represents all of Europe. Oh, 
One of the more unique titles in WWE history on the line here tonight. The European title. You call it unique, Cole. I call it underrated. Some truly great talents that held that championship. Ooh. Trying to torque at the back of the neck here. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah. And a lift up power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Oh, jarring back elbow. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. What an uppercut! That'll cost some teeth. Drew McIntyre's about as formidable a competitor as they come here in WWE. He's a man who can be methodical one moment and explosive the next. I have to imagine it's difficult to come up with a proper game plan when facing off against the Scottish Warrior. Yeah, McIntyre absolutely is not the type of superstar you could put in a neat little box, Cole. But if you can pick your spots wisely and avoid any major mistakes, you might have a chance of taking down the Scottish Warrior. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And he's able to reverse. Stomping. Ouch. Crippling attack on the knee. Big forearm. I don't know if they're going to have any taste buds left after that. Well, that had to be a motivating shot. You wanted the champ's attention, and you got it now. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. McIntyre gets met with a response. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. Perfect timing. Sending the larger opponent up into the stratosphere, then crashing right back down to earth. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. A bad place to be for the challenger. And McIntyre's aggression seemingly growing with each attack. Whoa! No question after that power bomb, the champ has a strategy to retain. Face wash. The shoulders. Air raid trash. Cover. There's two. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. What do you have to do to put this guy away? It's the revolving door of forearms. Listen to the impact. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. That's got to be it. Two. Oh, the champ survives. How is that not three? Some power behind that punch. Sent hard to the outside. This superstar picking up speed. No, oh, yes. oh, wrecking ball. Drop kick. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> to the back of the neck. Sky sickle. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Dragon off, thinking big. Up high. McIntyre gets away from that. Uh oh. Bye, McIntyre. Another one bites the dust 
to the champ. Looking for the victory. Going to take a different approach here, I guess. I don't know why. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Don't do it. Somersault plancha to the floor. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. These men have been all gas and no brakes tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. Well, they have to be running on fumes. I don't know how much longer they can go. Hooked. Belly to belly, way overhead. Drew just taking a moment to soak it all in. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Aw, oh, McIntyre just launched his opponent. Overhead, belly to belly. The battle cries of a Scottish warrior emanating from McIntyre. That's the good stuff. Yeah. Uh oh. Power bomb. Dragonov really showing what he's made of here with that power and intensity. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Strong kick out of two from the champion. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. And Raganov showing that he's still not done going on the offensive. If you're Dragonov, you got to be looking to deliver the knockout soon. And we see him take yet another shot to the body. Specifically targeting the leg. Flash oh. kiss. Drew proving that he never shies away from a fight. Just devastating offense with that one. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. The volume in this building has increased exponentially. The fans are willing these competitors to push forward. Win or lose, these superstars are going to be held in high esteem after this one. And they just got back in. Shifts it back onto him. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. He got whipped into that corner. Things went from bad to worse. This competitor now on the middle rope. Looking for a suplex. Oh, look at the stall. Two, three, four, oh, five. Hey. My God. Wow! The countdown has begun! It's the time! Claymore! Now that is why they're the champ. Two! And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still, WWE European Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. And he has to be satisfied with himself, defending the championship like he did. He's definitely fought to keep his championship, and that's something he should be really proud of.